So Yamo Visma nicked an English person right out of Ineos. And the question is, why did they sign him? Because if you look at his results, they're not actually that mental. But I'm going to go through why I think he's actually quite good. And his name's Tom Glag. So this is Tour of Alsace. We're going to go through his best results first, then some of the, the worst ones later. This was stage two. Where he had a good day out. He finished third in the end. Um, like his other results, like he's OTL'd in like Circuit Arden, DNS. Well, yeah, like didn't finish out his air tour. Giro Valle d'Aosta, you got two top tens. Tour of Alsace, you got a good result today, but that was about it. Um, and then like last year, like he had a good, really good result in Tour de, um, Tour de Lavenir until he had to DNF. Like he was like second on GC. Um, last year he finished fourth on the under twenty three Giro as well. So has had some really good results, but I think this year probably not exactly what he's expecting. And Ronda Lizard, which is another classic under twenty three race, um, he won a stage as well. So yeah, he's he's an interesting character, and I think maybe this year it's it's more like he has just everything hasn't come together. But I think he does show some really standout performances, and he's obviously his what's Piquito is super super strong. So you can see he's in this chase group here. He's riding for Trinity Racing, which is the blue team. Uh, white helmets, blue kit, uh, and he like to be honest, this race was a bit annoying because the footage cut out a lot, but um, this is sort of the best of the what I could cobble together. But anyway, like he's super strong in these climbs, and I think the question is maybe he's better on the shorter climbs than the longer climbs. But then he's you know won a stage out to Plato de Beau, um in like uh, sorry Ronde Lizard. So I, I'm not really sure. I think maybe just inconsistency, but maybe that's not to be. Uh, expected from under 23 riders like often i think people compare under 23 riders too poggy and it's like well yeah nice or remco like this is just coming into the end so here's him and like a, a lotto lad ruben thompson for fdj and finier pickering comes back as well and i think he's got a decent kick on him as well to be honest like i think his sprint is decent but as i was saying before maybe you know just doesn't have the consistency in the week long stage races like obviously lavanier when he's third on gc or whatever that was more like he crashed and then got concussions so that couldn't race and wasn't really like his fault um, but yeah, I think it's interesting just because some of the results he does really well and then the next day is really not so good. So like in Giro Valle d'Aosta, he finished 41st and 52nd on the first two stages, which is why he was so far down in GC. Um, and Alsace, to be fair, like I started well again, like sixth on the team time trial, third on the, third on this stage, but then it was a bit disastrous afterwards. Um, you can see he's on the right hand side, like he's got an okay kick for like a climby boy, but nothing, nothing mental. Um, bins one guy, not two people bent him so like obviously not the man but this is the climb um in the Giro Valle d'Aosta this was stage uh three um an interesting climb and again not too steep we didn't get we got sort of footage from the, the beginning but they then didn't show how the break formed so I'm not exactly sure how the break did form uh however uh it was him with a Bardiani boy who we're about to see now I believe it lists all the people here so Mileza, Onni, Gloag, Pelizzari, uh Makella and Bodom like Two from DSM, uh, Androni Boy, sorry, not Androni, uh, Bardiani, uh, Israel, as well as Tom Gloag. So you can see, like, you know, pretty strong company as well. Definitely, like, is very good uh, on this break. Like, it was a bit of a weird one, to be honest. It seems to split up quite a lot. And also, this footage, again, wasn't great either. These dodgy races really don't have great footage. But at least I can actually use it, unlike all the Eurosport footage that is not possible. But, yeah, like, looking strong climber. And I would say that I think Jumbo Visma have signed a good guy. Like, there's a lot of interest. He is very good. Um, I just think, like, he just needs a little bit of time, a little bit more experience. Um, he's obviously raced, like, a fair amount, like, raced... Um, juniors and stuff and i'd say one of the big things was actually 2020 where he really helped this is him coming across the line now um there was some descent there was some uphill stuff but then basically no one really knows what happened but he's got a third on that stage because the camera bike didn't follow him but anyway that was a good result from him so anyway now i'm just going to go over to his pro cycling stats just so we can have a little bit more chat about some of the good results and some of the bad results Right, so this is 2020, and I actually think this is one of a really strong season. So this was when um, Tom Pickup won the under-23 Giro, as you know. But he was, like, the last man. He was, like, Ben Giovanni Aliotti, who now races for, like, uh, Bora, I'm per pretty sure. Um, and then, like, Henry Van Danabil, he's now pro, like, DSM. Conker, he's pretty sure he's been... He's pro, I'm pretty sure, as well. Um, yeah, for Lotto. So, like, he is good, definitely. Uh, no doubt about it. I just think this year hasn't been the most bonkers year in modern history for the man. We wonder Lizard as well. Like, you know, seventh on, on this stage here is probably okay. Henry Van Dana beat, beat Leo Hayes. I mean, he's definitely deserved to be that. I just think you're like, if you look at 2021, you're again like some good results, but some not like unreal results. Like, obviously, Lavanier was really good. Um, under 23 Giro was really good. Um, But yeah, it's like Tour of Britain, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's going to be a tough one. So there's nothing much to look into that. 
run Lizard a decent result. Um, but 2022, I think, like, Tour of Norway is obviously hard, but 20 to second on GC is, like, not bad. Like, you, you can't complain. Um, again, Tour of Alsace, we, we already spoke about. I think it's just weird, like, on Planche de Belfi, why it was so bad. Like, I don't really get it. Um, and I say this was like, big respect. Obviously, man's strong, but, like, 37th, you wouldn't expect it from him. Like, he was 2 minutes 53 down, and you're like, yeah, okay, the guys at the top are strong, but, like, Leo Hates was, like, 46 seconds down. You know, maybe the climb he doesn't think suits him. It's too short, it's too long. I don't really know. I, I don't know what he is the best at. I'm mean, judging from Montes Bluger here, where he, like, binned a lot of Conti guys. Oh, sorry, guys going well tour. You think maybe a long one, but maybe, I don't know, he doesn't just, like, change ingredients. Um, and then again, Arta Tour, no, I thought it was actually quite strong as well. But Giro Valladosta, like, the reason he got in the break when I was commentating on that, sorry, it's a bit of a rubbish commentary on that. It was just, everything was going too quickly. Like, first stage, he was absolutely miles down um yeah like five minutes down and like you wouldn't really expect it. obviously max pool like you know two and a half minutes down and got a top 10 gc in um in tour of norway but still like i don't know you just wouldn't expect him to be that far down that allowed him to get in the break which to be fair he did well but yeah i think it's just interesting um and so what do i just sort of rider do i think he would be i think he will probably be more of a gc guy like all his best results you can see are like generally gc results so that's what i believe um, but I guess we'll just have to see, to be honest, like, he's only 20 years old, or 21 in September, so, yeah, like, definitely got some time, uh, but anyway, that's sort of, like, my brief report on Tom Glag, Un overrated, underrated, I'm not 100% sure, I think probably about right rated, but it's interesting he went to Yumbo, not Ineos, apparently that was because the agents were not agreeable, but anyway, cheers for watching, hope you enjoy, I'll see you in the next one.